Okay, I've been sent out here to determine how to separate those two panels and move one of the panels 30 feet um, to the right of that one. And we're going to have to relocate all the uh, lighting con lighting through the contactors and um, figure out whether we're going to keep those contactors or just uh, uh, delete them and then run everything off of breakers depends on what the uh, the owners want to do so my search will go on here to find out the best way to do this those two switches right there operate all those contactors so um, we'll get started here one of the things I need to do is isolate um, this suite which is about 90 feet wide. We're going to split it right down the middle. And uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, get this all isolated and find out where the circuits all go. Okay, I had to make a phone call. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and climb on up here, up above the, the T bar ceiling. And let's take a look at what we got. Some pretty decent looking piping there. That's all the ones going down to the contactor down there. Okay. Trying to get this so that, uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, they got some of their pipes marked here, but not all of them. Take a look around here a little bit. Outlets up in the ceiling for alarm system. There's a J box right there. Um, let me get back over here. No markings on it. Doesn't tell you what circuit numbers pretty important to mark your circuit numbers on these boxes so when somebody comes in to do any work they know what uh, the circuits are and stuff but kind of hard to see back in there matter of fact you can't see anything at all so without these pipes being marked I'm going to have to trace them all down. A couple J boxes out there. Right in there. I'll go out and see if I can find some numbers on those. Okay. I'm out there looking. There's those two J boxes I was just showing you earlier. Looking around out here, there's a bunch of neon tubes and stuff floating around. And I look back over here, we got wires hanging out all over the place. Luckily, they got them wire nutted off. But uh, some more neon tube there. Now it's hard to see with this camera, but looking around up here, it's going to be kind of Risky just a tad to turn all this stuff on, but hopefully they all wire nutted everything off So I'm gonna go back now and uh, flip all the breakers and see if I can get all the lights to come on There's some more neon lights down here Going through there and some of them are cut off. I'm not sure if you can see the, the tubing from there or not but let's check it out and see. 